Welcome to this short instruction video on how to add lamps and thermometers to OpenNetHome. Uh, for this demonstration we are running OpenNetHome on a Raspberry Pi Model 2 which is connected through the network and here I have the web GUI of that OpenNetHome. Uh, I'm going to start by showing how to add a Belkin Wemo switch. Uh, the Wemo switches connect through the Wi-Fi network, so we don't need any extra hardware to connect it to OpenNetO. Uh, when adding lamps and thermometers, what you do in OpenNetO is that you create home items that is, are used to control the, the switches. Uh, there are two ways of creating those. Either you create them manually by just selecting which one to create, or you choose auto-create where OpenNetHome can auto-detect the items. So what I'm going to start with doing here is creating a demo room where I'm going to put this switch. So I start by editing the page and add a new room which I will call the demo room and I save that. So now we have a demo room and here I select to add a new item. So on the new items page, on the top window we can select to manually choose what kind of home item to create. And in the lower window we see which uh, devices OpenNetHome has auto-detected. So here we see that it has already auto-detected the Belkin Wemo switch. It has also detected that I have a uh, Philips Hue bridge connected in the network. But I'm gonna start by selecting this Belkin Wemo switch. So now it shows which home items are suitable for this device and there is only one here, it is the Wemo switch. So I select to create that item and here I come to that items page. Uh, it has already configured it to find this item so all I have to do is to give it a name. So my Wemo is a suitable name. Save it. Save to go back. And now I have this item in the demo room. So I end edit this page. And now we can try out this. Switch is on, yes. Show here. Lamp is on. And now switch is off. So now I have a home item connected to the Wemo switch. So, next I'm going to add a radio control switch. In this case it is a Nexa switch. This is the standard kind of remote control switches that you can buy in any store uh, that communicate over the standard 433 MHz protocol. To be able to control that kind of devices we need some kind of radio interface connected to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, in this case I'm going to use the Telstick Duo, which is available in most places in Europe and is a very easy way of connecting to radio control devices. So all I have to do is to connect this radio device and I already have the home item for the Telstick pre-configured here, so all I have to do is to reconnect. And there it's connected. So now it's online. Um, so what I'm going to do here to auto detect this one is to actually use the remote control because the remote control is going to send the radio signal to this switch and uh, the re receiver will see that uh, radio transmission and we will be able to auto detect the switch from that. So I move the lamp over to this switch. that and we prepare to create a new item. Go to edit the page, select to add a new item to this room. We go down to this auto detect page and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the remote control switch for this device and switch is on.
And there we see that it auto detected this Nexa switch. So what I can do now is the same thing I did before is I select the create the item. And here I get actually a number of choices of different home items to use to connect, connect here. Um, OpenAtom does not know if this is a dimmer or just a switch. So I have to tell it that, okay, this is a dimmer. I want to create the item for the dimmer. So I give it a name, we call it the Exa lamp. Save it. Save it to go back to the rooms page. Now we have the Nexa lamp there. So we end edit on this one and hopefully we can now switch the lamp on and off. And you can also see that this uh, tell stick blinks red when it transmits the radio signals. So that's how you can add uh, radio controlled uh, switches to open at home. Next, I'm going to add a thermometer to the open at home. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use an uh, Oregon Scientific uh, thermometer. It's a wireless thermometer that also sends on the same radio band as the switch, uh, the 433 MHz band. And again, I'm going to use Auto Detect to add the item. So. I go back and edit the page again, select to add a new item, and go down to this detect the devices. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna put in the battery in this thermometer, and then it will start transmitting. And there we see that it has received a transmission. So what has happened now is that this radio transmitter and receiver has received the signal and OpenNetTem has interpreted the signal and realized that it is an Oregon scientific thermometer. So again I go in and choose to create the item and here we actually see that there is three different items that could match this device. Uh, I'll start here with, I know this is a thermometer, so I, I'll create a thermometer item. Just give it a name. Demo. Thermometer. Save that, save. So now we have created that, and uh, when new values is received, those will be presented here. So we can end the edit, and uh, I guess we'll have to wait a couple of seconds until there we saw the, this blink. So it probably has received a value now. And yes, here we have a value. It's pretty warm in here. Uh, this sensor actually also has a moisture sensor, a hygrometer sensor, and we add that as a separate home item. So again, we go in and edit the page and select to add a new item, and again select this device. And here we see that you can also select the hygrometer, and I choose that, create the item. Hygro. And we save that. And here we see that it has received the value. It's 24% moisture in here. Um, and we end the edit. Uh, thermometers also have the uh, ability to log the values and present the values as a graph. So all we have to do to do that is to add a log file. And all I have to do is add a log file name. You can call it um, gone log, for example. 
can I see that? Uh, and as soon as I've added that that log file, we get the option to view the graph. Now that graph won't be very interesting right now because it only logs values every 15 minutes. So we won't have any values yet. But once it's started collecting the values, you can click on this and then I will see a, a graph over all the thermometer values it has collected. So that's how thermometers and hygrometers are added in OpenNet Home.